Okay, you downloaded the NumPy file. Now what? What do you do? Well, you want to look at the track itself, right? So let's go ahead and, and install the log analysis tools. So we're going to go back to AWS DeepRacer community. And if in case you haven't downloaded already, I'm going to walk through how you download the log analysis tools. So right here, you see Deep Racer Analysis. Let's click on that. And I'm just going to go to code and copy this link for good cloning. And now let's switch over to Ubuntu. Now in Ubuntu, uh, you know, this could be in Windows if you're running WSL or native Ubuntu, doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and good clone this. Let me paste. All right, now it's been cloned in. Let's go to Deep Racer Analysis. And let's look at the requirements file. Every, every Python file has a requirements file. And this is what this package requires. Deep Racer Utils, Jupyter Lab, and Jupyter Text. So do you have a virtual environment already? If so, then you can skip the next step. But if you don't, why don't we create a new one uh, just to show you guys how you do that. Okay. So we need to create the virtual env. We can use the following command, Python three dash M venv, and then the path to the virtual environment. So I'm going to put in the ends directory. I'm going to call it DR uh, for deep racer logs 23, just cause it's the year 2023. Hit enter. And now we have to activate it. So now I'm going to say source uh, ends doctor dr log 23 bin activate. All right. You notice now we have uh, the name of the environment in parentheses here. So that's good. So now I'm going to say pip install dash u. Pip. So I'm going to upgrade my pip, make sure I have the latest files. All right. It went from version 20 to 23. So that was good. Pip install requirements that txt. And that should go ahead and install everything we need. So let's give it a few minutes while it installs it. Now you see that it's installing Jupyter. That's the notebook that we're going to use. Actually, it's installing Jupyter Lab, which is, a, I guess, a fancier collection of notebooks. It's installing NumPy, it's installing Pandas, everything we need to run the logs. And when I say run the logs, I mean to analyze the logs, look at the waypoints. This is going to be the center of our, our analysis toolkit right here. Okay, we're all done. Now this is the exciting part. Let's type in Jupyter Lab. All right. Let's see. All right. Now we have, this is the link that we need to use. So let me copy that and open up the browser. Okay. Now we open up the browser. We paste in the link and you might have to uh, type in a token or a password. Uh, mine just opened up here and let's see, let's see what we do here. So you're going to see, these are the basic, the basic settings are right here. Um, what I mean, we have a file for action space, one that mimics the console, one that looks at an evaluation analysis, which I personally haven't used. I primarily focus on training analysis. So we're going to double click on training analysis. And this is a really good, uh, um, file here. I would just read through this if you, if you're not familiar, but for those of you who want to see the waypoints, uh, this is what we do. We can scroll down to the bottom here and this is the magic right here. This, this line right here. So we're going to get open up a track IO, uh, and then we're going to plot the points. So. Let's simplify this because this is way kind of complicated for what we really need to do. Uh, right, we'll, I'll show you a, a simplified notebook. We'll go ahead and build a simplified notebook together 
and you can use this to see the waypoints. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, first we're going to scroll up to the top and just copy these imports to a new into a new notebook. So let's first create the new notebook. So new notebook. Uh, yep, select. I'm going to go to training analysis, select the cell, copy it, paste it in here. Let's run it. Okay, it, it ran, didn't get any errors. Uh, and then I'm going to scroll down. And what we really want, we don't need any of this. We need this line right here, track IO. I just copy the whole cell. So I'm going to go in here on that. It shows you all of the available tracks. So we did in the prior step in the prior video, we downloaded hot rod speedway. Uh, and that file should be in here somewhere, but if case it's not, I'm going to, yeah, Arctic, Arctic pro, uh, I'll show you how to download and install the, the uh, numpy file here in case you don't have it in case it's a new track or something. All right, and then the last step, we're going to scroll back here to the to the training analysis folder, and this is the line that we care about. These two lines here. All right, so I'm going to copy these two lines, paste it in here, and where it says track name, we have to specify the track name. So let's add it here: track name equals. And I believe it was Arctic Pro MPY. Let's copy that in here. And we run it. And here you go. This is how you visualize the waypoints. All right. Um, now, let's say you, you didn't have this NumPy file, right? So uh, you, what you want to do is copy that numpy file into the directory into this directory right here right the directory where you uh git clone the log analysis package there's a there's a, a folder here called tracks you want to save it in here right um, again this is really important if you are in the current season and they're releasing new tracks that aren't in the log analysis folder yet. This is where you have to save and just download it and save it into the tracks folder. That's all you have to do. It's pretty straightforward. If you need help with that, send me a note and I'll, I will create a video for that if you need it. Uh, but if you're in student league or uh, doing one of these older tracks, it's already available to you. You don't have to do that. I guess one last thing I'll show you is something I find kind of cool. If you hit, shift tab you get the the full signature of the function in jupyter lab notice that do you notice that it says n annotate every nth i'm going to go ahead and do that let me zoom in so you can see it annotate every nth i'm going to say every 10 and check this out it only plots every 10. this is really helpful if uh you know when you have a lot of waypoints, especially if they're really close to one another, it kind of gets hard to, to read these. I kind of like make, I, can, I like changing this around. It just makes it look a little bit better. All right, guys, that's it. I showed you how to download the NumPy file if you need it. Showed you how to just actually plot out the, num, the, um, the waypoints itself. If you have any questions, any concerns, anything that wasn't clear, please let me know. Happy to make a video for you guys. There you have it, folks. Team Boltron. Stay tuned for more. Make sure to subscribe and click the like button if you want to see more of this content.